I'm here with artist Zemmer Paulette, and we're just talking a little bit about your new body of work. Tell me a little bit about where the work started for you. What was your early work like, and why did you do it? Well, the first piece I remember was when I was really little, I was painting and sculpting in the kibbutz where I was born. And I never thought art would be like something in my life. I mean, it was always just for fun and helping my parents and, you know, in the garden or like building stuff. So, and the first piece I remember is like from clay, actually, mm -hmm. not one of the paintings. It's like a small face that you can turn it all the way around and you can see like 10 different faces. And that's basically summarized my personality, <laughs> probably. <laughs> And when I was like 20, it was after the army, and I was like, what to do with my life, where to go, I was like heartbroken. I was in a bad shape, yeah. and yes. And my parents just uh, sent me to like art therapy. And that was the first time since the childhood that I was working again with clay and like painting and doing all this stuff with materials. Mm -hmm. And then I decided to just make it as something more serious. Yeah. What, yeah. what did you like about the clay that you found? I don't think it's specifically about clay, but it just touching and making um, something physical. The reality is very hard for me to understand. So it just makes me feel like more alive or like that I create something and I can feel it. I think clay has a lot of like uh, qualities in the material and history, which is an amazing material. I often like find the new forms and new ideas and new things to make in the process of making. So I usually don't have any sketches. I don't have a plan of like a specific piece that, okay, I know this piece is gonna be like that. It's gonna look like so that. So they kind exactly. of grow organically. Yeah, they grow organically and once they have the form, so I kind of know like where it's going and it's kind of like, okay, now, now I know. I love working with materials and clay, like breaking and building and like all of these things. Did the works in the beginning have this breaking element to it? I started working with the shards and breaking three years ago when I graduated. And so it was the end of my final year. And, but now it's more, it's not just the breaking, it's also like I use a lot of references mm -hmm. of feathers and birds in my work. So a lot of the new pieces are having a lot of like different kind of movement and the feathers quality in them. But still like using one part and like having repetition and in the pieces and the movement in them. This is very important to me. I make each piece like individually, cutting them and like painting, and, and then I put them all together like to create something new, like a new object or a new sculpture. Mm -hmm. You know the story of the phoenix? Yes. Yeah. Do you think there's an element of the phoenix within these pieces? I don't know yet. It's basically the first time in, in years that I see like all the pieces together. It's all very new for me, so... It, has um, it been good for you to ha be surrounded by all of these? Yeah, I've been waiting for this moment for a long time because I always dream of like having like a forest of them or like having many of them like just occupying the whole space. I work on each and every one of them very close and like literally I'm just very close to the pieces and whenever I go step back I'm like it's a totally different thing and and to be able to see the whole group of them as a family is like you know so I'm really excited about that. Where do you see things developing from here? I notice these pieces that are all monochromatic and black. Obviously, uh, these pieces yeah. are less concerned about color. I mean, there is so many different shades within the piece and like there is so many shadows and like movement and it just, it's very exciting for me to start working on it. Seems that. like these are sort of your black and white pencil studies yeah. if you were drawing. Yeah. Uh, because you're dealing uh, more with uh, 
aspects of light and yeah. texture yeah. Than, than you are about color yeah. and form, of course. They're very new. I mean, I'm excited because I was really trying to make something abstract mm -hmm. and not look like uh, flowers or like creatures or like just to, to be themselves. So. So all of these, all of these are porcelain elements here. In the yeah, all all the pieces that I make, all the like the small uh, pieces are all made of porcelain. So. And then you select the different uh, elements, and the, how do how do they come yeah, together? Yeah, so then I just spend like most of the time actually just making all these pieces, like having thousands of them, like all these boxes that you see here are like plenty of like different shapes and colors and forms and so I, I love having just a variety of like different components and then just to start the big dance that's how I feel about them uh, with the big pieces but it's just like I spend so much time just making all these pieces and by the time they all finish they're all ready to go I'm like Yes, I'm like, let's dance, you know? So the porcelain elements go into a clay base? Yes, so I build everything out of clay and then I just put all the pieces and I stick it into the clay mm -hmm. and fire the pieces again. Mm -hmm. um, so all the pieces are made the same way. And then a big piece like this, after it's composed, put yeah. It goes into a big kiln. Yeah, it goes to a very big kiln. You have a kiln called Superman? Yes, yeah, Superman. And how yeah. big is Superman? It's big. I don't yeah. know exactly the dimensions, but I can, I can, we can both. It looks like the, the back end of a big truck, I think. In the... Yep. I really love working on these big pieces, like that they're larger than, than me. And I do love to work in very small pieces and I'm trying to like always think or like make like what's the smallest piece I can make or like what's the biggest piece I can make. So I have all these questions all the time because I love the way like my body react to the pieces like whenever I work on a very small pieces so I'm just become it's very intimate but whenever I work on a big piece it's like I'm suddenly I'm walking like that like mm -hmm. I'm very like I'm taller suddenly yeah. and I'm bigger so I just love this difference between this type of like working on very small pieces and the big ones.